President Trump is 76 years old. If the Department of Justice gets his way, he will die in federal prison. Just by one of these counts, conspiracy to obstruct justice, which has a 20-year maximum sentence. This is a disgusting, disgusting uh, mark on American history for the future to come by these bandits in the White House, by the Democrat Party that don't play fair anymore. They don't want to just win elections. They want to take control of this country. They want one party rule. And they have used the Department of Justice and the FBI to get what they want. Merrick Garland is a mob lawyer. That's what he is. Jack Reed is a rogue Soviet style prosecutor. The Presidential Records Act is not a criminal statute, and it was never intended to be. The Espionage Act of 1917 was passed under Woodrow Wilson, another corrupt president. Woodrow Wilson used it to go after his adversaries, and they imprisoned 2,000 people. So I suppose over there at the Department of Injustice, and this clown prosecutor spent a lot of time at The Hague, they probably figured these laws could be used to try and entrap Trump. All these obstruction issues that they claim, where the former attorney general, Bill Barr, comes up here and bloviates about it, and all the formers coming on talking about obstruction. They have them on obstruction. There'd be no obstruction issue of any kind, not even in anybody's imagination, had they not criminalized this case. This is a document case, a document case where a president of the United States or a former president faces 100 years in federal prison. Is this some kind of a sick joke on the American people? Joe Biden says he never told them what to do. Joe Biden had to sign off on that's becoming a National Archives case to have it go to the Department of Justice. Who does he think he's lying to? The American people? This is a guy that's got documents from the time he was in the U.S. Senate, for God's sakes, in his garage. I don't want to hear from the legal analysts the technicalities about false statements and obstruction. This should never have been a criminal case. Willful retention of documents. Well, what's the unwillful retention of documents mean? They're throwing all these process crimes and all these crimes that grow out of the criminal investigation against Trump. What did he do with the documents? Did he sell them to the enemy? No. That's why we have an espionage act, not to trick up a president. What did he do? Did he burn them all? No. The government has all the documents back. So there is no violation of the Presidential Records Act at this point. But they throw the book at him. They go after his attorneys. They make them testify. Their attorneys under the crime fraud exemption to attorney client privilege. That means he didn't have due process. His own lawyers were being subjected to interrogations. And they had hundreds of in uh, person people testifying in front of grand juries. Thousands of collections of documents for what? For what? And they indict him today? They indict him today in Miami? All of a sudden it's in Miami? All of a sudden we have a Florida grand jury? Because the moron in Washington figured out that there are venue issues that could lose him his case. This guy, this prosecutor, he lost 8-0 to zero in the U.S. Supreme Court when they overturned the conviction of the former governor of Virginia because this jerk took a statute and expanded it. A jury in North Carolina wouldn't convict John Edwards because this jerk took a campaign statute and expanded it. And he's taken this case and he's undermining the country and he's interfering with a presidential election. And let me be clear, as Jarrett said, the attorney general of the United States made this final decision. This is not the independent counsel statute. This is a special counsel appointed by the attorney general under a Department of Justice regulation. This attorney general who pretends he's Helen Keller, he made the decision to indict the former president and they made the decision to interfere in this election. You want to talk about an insurrection? This is an insurrection. And that's exactly what's going on here. Let me go on. Joe Biden is the crookedest crook that's ever been in the Oval Office. Everywhere we look, there's a predicate for a special counsel. They won't appoint a special counsel, even though it's compelled 
under the law in which they appointed this special counsel, and you're not supposed to appoint a special counsel against your political opponent. You're supposed to appoint one in the case of Biden. 20 shell corporations, $10 million coming from the communist Chinese military, spread out among the family, no businesses to support this, endless meetings, endless meetings with with Biden's, uh, with Hunter Biden's business partners. Bob Alinsky, who ties Joe Biden to the crimes. Mr. Big, Mr. 10%. And what does Biden say? Well, then where's the money? He's asking us, come and catch me if you can. The idea that this man is, isn't under a criminal investigation and that they criminalized a damn document case to go after Donald Trump is sickening, and I would say this to our fellow Americans. Don't be bamboozled by these cable channels and these fools who come on and tell you, well, he's not above the law. Are you kidding me? Democrat Attorney General in New York, Democrat Prosecutor in Manhattan, Democrat Prosecutor in Atlanta, Democrat Attorney General in Washington, D.C. What do you mean he's not above the law? There is no law. What's going on here? is a disgusting disgrace. It is war on Trump, it is war on the Republican Party, and it is a war on the Republic. The radical left is doing what the radical left does while they cover up for Biden the way they covered up for Hillary. If Donald Trump is to be charged like this, Hillary Clinton should have been charged with 10,000 counts of obstruction because that's how many emails she destroyed and five counts of destroying cell phones, because that's how many cell phones they destroyed. I'm done, and I'm sick of it.